Introductory Field Biology is a field course, as the name indicates, for which we spend 80% outside in the field, in the forest, at streams, and we explore, so to say, the natural environment. There's something magical that happens when a students leave the classroom and go out into the field. I think uh, for lots of us who have this experience, it results in sort of a change in how you view the world around you, and we call that transformative learning. We went out to Flat Rock for the Stream Ecology Lab to investigate the physical and biological diversity of streams. You get to really learn how to read the landscape. What are all the dynamic interactions going on between the trees and the soil, the plants and animal life? And I think that's really unique for a course because most of the time you just learn about the theory and you see something on paper, but in field bio, you actually get to go out into the landscape and that is your test. My name is Marissa Valacruz and I'm one of the teaching assistants for the field biology class this year. My section of the lab today, we were doing habitat surveys and trying to understand how much water is flowing through the stream. So we call that stream discharge and we do that by measuring the wetted width of the stream. And then we go out and we measure along the transect. We break it up. Today we broke it up into six sections. We measure the depth at that spot and then the velocity using a flow meter or a flow mate. And they were really excited about what they found. So I thought it was fun. I think our students get the most excited about discovery. We can walk in the field and show them and tell them um, what a species is, but when they find a bug that they've never seen before and they get so excited about it and they're trying to identify it, and then it turns out that it's something unusual or something no one else has found, you can see the, this like spark in their eyes and that's part of what I think we all love about teaching in the field courses. Oh, you got whirl a whirly gig beetle. They have two sets of eyes. Oh, yeah. If you look at them, like the above water and the underwater eyes. Oh, cool. One big element in the introductory field biology course is the research project. Students come up with a question completely of their own design. We have students work in teams because we want them to have the true experience of science because science is rarely done alone. It's always done in collaboration. Mark just asks us what we're interested in and what we want to learn more about and matched people who had the same interests. So we got matched and then, yeah, I was just open to learning about anything and Angelique came up with the idea of moss. When you study a lot of forests, you typically try to study the tree species or the soil, but not a lot of people study the bryophytes, the mosses, the liverworts, the hornworts. And I was really wanted to learn about bryophytes and I saw it as like an opportunity to learn more. And I'm glad I got paired up with Madonna because she agreed to do bryophytes with me. The most important outcome from the research project is actually not the process formulating a question till the end, analyzing the data and presenting the results. It is more going through the process and overcome the problems, the roadblocks I run into. It was a lot of personal research that we had to do outside of class. Yeah, I'm proud of us for getting through it and just figuring everything out along the way. Field bio in general is really important if you want to go into sustainability or any type of research position. Um, even if you're going to be a statistician, it's important to understand where your data is coming from, and that's here in the field. The ultimate goal is that a team can be greater than the sum of its parts. And if it's a great teamwork experience, it makes everything more enjoyable. And I think anyone in field biology will tell you that one of the best parts is getting to spend time with people who care about the same things that you care about.